Hey, Whoa. hope I got this correctly aimed. Well, welcome. Drew here, your Tinseltown taxi. Driving currently up to Hollywood so that uh, a friend and I can attend a small Italian restaurant with a very unusual history. And maybe I'll make a video about that because uh, it's part of LA history uh, in terms of, nah, I'll leave that for later, just in case. All right, so I just came from a uh, meeting of uh, the nascent organization of a taxi union, which is something that uh, LA has not had at all. So we had representatives from the AFL-CIO and the National Taxi Association, or let's see, let's see National Taxi Workers Alliance. Fuck you. Some guy, what? Some homeless guy. Marching down the street, holding his right arm up in the Nazi salute. All right. Sorry about that. That was a distraction. Yeah, National Taxi Workers Alliance. And, of course, the target is Uber and Lyft. All right? Since they're out to destroy us, well, we're going to fight back. So that was the first organization. So that was the first meeting. We're going to have one next month. We're going to come in with the dues and become an official union. And I've even signed up for the leadership, whatever that's going to mean, to, you know, work on strategy. All right, so that's coming up ahead, and, well, things should get interesting. Because, uh, well, whenever you push back against financial interests like Wall Street, they fight back. Well, that's, that's about that for that, and... Things are just going pretty cool. Uh, I had some mechanical problems with my credit card machine, which I had to get fixed, and that meant having a few days not being able to drive a taxi because there's problems with that. Uh, my meter won't run, so that just means I can't drive. So I'm having to put in some extra time. Uh, and so forth, but but one of my let's see, yeah, I don't know. It's unlike my friend uh, Mequig up in Canada. Uh, I simply get too many customers coming through my cab to just keep track of everybody because let's see. Um, there you go. That was last night because I started last night about nine o'clock, nine thirty. Yeah. So we uh, yeah. So uh, there was a pink yesterday. I started late, so I only got two pinks. But that's cool because, uh, as you can see, I got a good fare, fifty-nine bucks and fifty-seven bucks. All right, so that worked out okay. Nice start for the night to have almost sixty bucks per trip. Yeah. So, and the interesting. Whoop, let me turn this back around. Hello, how are you? Hope you're doing okay. One of my trips was at the USC County Hospital. And uh, she was a rather eccentric lady. And we're going to go to the restaurant in the building that she lives. Which is how I learned about this. So I might as well tell it. Uh, again, she was rather eccentric and kind of a hypochondriac. Alright, hope that's steady. Uh, so apparently this building... Uh, when it was built in the 30s, was built 
for gay people. At a time when being gay meant you got locked up. Yes, it was not a nice time to be gay in L.A. That rhyme? I think so. God. Yeah, it's back in the 30s. Heck yes, you got prosecuted. Uh, like sodomy laws, things like that. Yeah, things were not nice. You got uh, put in the loony bin, I think. Because <laughs> uh, that was deviant. Alright, so. Uh... And it's just it's the social ost not ostentatious. Um, ostracized, yes. If you had a if you were exposed as being gay, my god, you were as evil as Hitler. So anyways, this building in which this restaurant is is got a history that was built for gay people. So So that's some of the history of LA. And I'm gonna, we're gonna go to a little restaurant, a little tiny restaurant they have there. And it's got a, quite a, a interesting little decor and architecture. So, uh, oh wow, yeah. Uh, the day before, let's see what's interesting is that uh, the first two trips were pregnant women that I took to Good Samaritan Hospital. If you can imagine that, my first two trips uh, were for pregnant women going to the hospital to deliver. So I delivered women who were delivering. Okay, that was pretty bad. I, I, hey, I try. Uh, and then later in the night, uh, I picked up two people from a hospital on the West End in Playa del Rey and just took them home. Yeah, it's, that's the kind of weird stuff I get to in a city like Los Angeles. Okay, so that's, that's about some of the things going on. There's no way to tell you everything. God, I could spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just telling what's going on in the weird and crazy and interesting people that come through my taxi. Okay, so I'm here slowly winding my way north to a date, somewhat. An interesting lady, so we're gonna have some Italian dinner. All right. Oh yeah, and the cool stuff is uh, dug up a whole history of Griffith Park. But I've told you that in previous videos. Kind of giving you a taste of uh, what it was like when Franklin Roosevelt came in and he st his work programs and the CCC started to uh, dis seriously develop the park and give us the wonderful park we have and enjoy today. Yeah. So that's kind of a taste of what's going on. Right? So if you want to hear more, I'd like to just rate, subscribe, comment, and make yourself at home. Right? make this friendly. Okay, this is Drew, your Tinseltown Taxi. Signing off, and I'll see you later. Yeah, bye-bye.